So nja ngakhla ibhisinyana mfana usiflexa flexele before sihlala ngale mfana ku lounge. Let's go. Easy man. From time to time I mesmerize no yeah. reasons. Just to complicate your life I sprinkle you confusion. Don't study me I'm not the one to spill you melodies. Hmm. What shaped my music I wouldn't say it was nice. Hmm. It wasn't at all. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. not. It wasn't. But then the lighter side of it is like yo it was my kind of therapy. I like people who who are relevant and who speak the truth. Yeah. You know, somewhere somehow social media destroys somewhere destroys. somehow it builds you can't tell yourself who you know a lot no man you have to remain the student of the game okay that's what thank you for watching our video this show is sponsored by dreamstream dreamstream is a unique platform where creators can monetize their video content all creators rely on support from people like you join us on the dreamstream platform to support your favorite creator and view the episode without any adverts follow the link in the description for a how to guide dream stream a place where you can create yourself hey yo what's good this is your boy el music on our new show raw tactics who are your uh, biggest influences in hip hop what about the influence thing or nice Okay, let's get more into yeah. career highlights and challenges. Uh, what's your most notable achievement? How do you stay relevant and fresh? Just by sticking to being for some so young go. Hey, yo, this is your boy Elm Music on your new show Road Tactics. I got my nigga in the studio, so please, my guy, introduce yourself. Give us your real name, your stage name, and your home tra- hometown where you're from. Easy man. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I go by the name of Stage Two, and I am the whole game. I go by the name of my real name is Katla Homdau, and I represent the east side of Johannesburg, Springs Quartet. Wow, be strand man. So nja ngakhla ibhisinyana mfana usiflexa flexele before sihlala ngale mfana ku lounge. Let's go. Easy man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me just play a beat for you man. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Stage 2 nigga. Let's go. I got a chamber for the spin fires just in case you know your place like I got 30 snipers hey the game and dial plenty numbers but no private number I'm still the one he's still in question yeah I never stutter hey. listen this game is different yeah it's my decision I came in this for the hopeless you only here for Let's paper go. applause for Jack you only made me care by plenty favors truth essential God is great and I'll ever witness hey Hey, I'm chasing 20 figures. I mess around with marathons. I got a running stigma. I self appraise the words of I tell you it's my arrival. If you check my blood, it's spiritual. I mean revival. Wow. With niggas when I have to drop, they have wow. to take precautions. I overplay my part. I script and sell my own emotions. Don't mess with me. You know the drill when you play with fire. I self appraise. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Hey, from time to time I mesmerize no yeah. reasons just to complicate your life I sprinkle you confusion don't study me I'm not the one to spill you melodies hmm. these are thought I swear I swear yeah it's true indeed stage two stage two in the studio yes sir that's what I'm yes, talking sir. about yes, that's what's yes, up though yes, that's what's yes, up sir. that's what's yes, up I suppose the plumber got my talk it's easy one man one man dream stream a place to create yourself record video music and podcasts in our full service studio record video music and podcasts in our full service studio dreamstream a place to create yourself Right and forward, so yeah. Stay tuned, yeah. Wood and Jack. No man, welcome to Raw Tactics, man. Thank you. It's good to have you, man. It's good to have you, Jack. So yeah, let's get uh, let's get to basics, Jack. So tell me, uh, what inspired you to become a rapper? Uh, firstly, like I growing up, like I, I've always had like the love for hip hop. Okay. You know, the love for hip hop, especially like growing up, Kokasi. You know how we grew up, man. It's like also Nelly Makrotman. Okay. You know, 
Like to me, I would say maybe it was inspired by the US uh, hip hop and whatsoever. All right. But then as time went, like as time goes on, when you are growing up, in, that's when you fall in love, like with the hip hop that you introduced to at home, which is Bokwaito. All right. Stuff like that, you know. So growing up, like I've always, to me, it was a thing of where, like, I'd watch TV, but the music view that I okay. would pro kid and whatsoever. Like, yeah, I'd picture yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yo, this thing is dope, you know. So yeah, it began all there as a young kid. It began all yeah, and then like till today is like ah, uh, I'm a hip hop pro, you know. This okay. thing is mine. No, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Jack. So who are the how who are your uh, biggest influences in hip hop? Like, uh, yeah, this is like, a, can it be like global or local? Uh, any, anyone, anyone. Anyone. Okay, to me, like right now. Uh, okay, I'm local. Okay. Local. Oh, no yes, man. Okay, locally. Uh, who is it? Okay, right now, I would say maybe the touchline. Okay. Understand? Touchline, okay. MT. You know, Questa, uh, like all, all, like a couple of brews that you know, Hore Bantu and Buga, the street music. Yes, man. like, yeah, the Kasi, the Kasi, 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 like how I do music and Kasi, 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 it's cool when you starting when you when you started off, it was a thing of where, like okay, you just want to put like a couple of words together, okay, and rhyme and whatsoever. Kupa, kupa yeah, kupa, kupa and whatsoever, and okay. which is like fair as a beginner, as a young kid. Yes, that's true, man. Yeah, but then like as time goes on, like when you peak your 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 teenage, uh, your like your teenage years and whatsoever. Okay, that's when like you you actually realize, yo, there's actually more to this. You understand now you 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 speaking of what's in your heart hmm. the things that you see around no, that's top. true yeah mm-hmm. so yeah i think like yeah it's like touchline mt you know bokeo quest wow. okay okay that's yeah. good man that's good so tell us what's your creative process like when you writing or and actually recording your music man. what is yeah what's your creative process like you know i get right baba i don't know meditate i don't know what's your yeah. creative process like when creating your music my creative process yes, man. uh so to me you know this is what i do now and the pillar child alimaji does like like now i'm a person of where let's say you my producer okay and then like you'll send me like a fire beat it's like 10 out of 10 beats hmm. one what it's like it's touching me and whatsoever okay but then as long as i'm not in the inspiration mode it's like i'm not tapping in okay yeah it's like to me like i have to be tapped in like emotionally and whatsoever, mm. one mm. I, I feel so. You. I yeah, feel I have to be tapped in because it's a thing of where, like, it's one of my principles. If I can say, it's like you, you, I can't do this thing because I'm good at it, but also I have to respect it. Mm. One mm. I don't want to do it because I'm able to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You I understand? get you, man. So to you. me, it's a thing of where I have to be tapped in, like mentally, spiritually. One okay. Mentally, spiritually is like okay. Now you hear this fire beat and whatsoever is like okay. Um, now how should we go about it? Are we doing a street banger, and whatsoever we storytelling okay. and whatsoever? Yeah. Okay. So it's not a thing of where now you get a beat and then you just record. Ne, I will if yeah. I will if I will if No, I know I, I I get you, my guy. Yeah. So now can you share um a personal experience, um, or story that's ever shaped the way you you actually convey your message to your fans or your public? Uh, okay. Just a story. One story. Just a story. Okay, I think the most vital one, uh, it was in 2020. Okay. Yeah, it was in 2020. It was when back at home we had like um, a robbery. There was a house robbery at home. Hmm. And, so, and I was the one who witnessed it all. You know, so like it was a thing of where I was waking up. I'm chilling at home. I was not even, I was chilling in bed. It's like 1 a.m. chilling in bed, like my parents are sleeping and whatsoever. So, I'm busy, so bro, I got, like I'm busy with my phone. Okay. You know, yeah, I'm hearing sounds and like inside the house and whatsoever. So, hey, hey. I'm like, because now the time I like, Edu, like, he can, he can wake up like any time of okay. the night and then he check, oh, it's locked. What's happening? Yeah. yeah, yeah, what's yeah, yeah so, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, ah, nah, it's my, it's my dad who's up and whatsoever, you know. But then, 
to keep it short and whatsoever, it's like I woke up to go check who you what's going on and whatsoever. You know, check the time. The time is Luma. I think it's like 2 a.m. Hmm. Yeah, 2 a.m. Uh, shortly after I left my bedroom, it's like I'm opening the door. I'm opening the door. These bruises from the other side are opening the door also. Sure. And so, so now, oh, in my mind, I'm thinking like, and mind you, before I got out of bed, like I was hearing like whispers within the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then now also when I'm waking up, get a maybe a jewel, time a little old lady, maybe something about and whatsoever. But then I'm just like, okay, let me just wake up. Mind you, I'm still drowsy. You understand? Hmm. You can't wake up at 2 a.m. when you and, and then, then uh, yeah. no, 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 no. You're still drowsy. You know, I open the door. I open the door slowly. Open the door slowly. And bulam nyako broaga. It's flashes on my eyes. Na manu tweri tosh so. I tweri tosh so I tima. There's a gun straight to my face. Inside your house, man. Yeah, inside my house. So now it's a thing of where now I'm awake now. Get okay now. What's happening? On what? What's happening now? I'm awake. So this nigga is like to me, yo. Relax, you don't want to hurt anyone and what's you know how those bros mm. go, you know. You don't want to hurt anyone. So then I'm just there, yo, gents, it's like do whatever that you want to do, mm. ding, ding, you know, but don't hurt anyone, you understand? Ah. Uh. We left the room, you understand? And only to find out the horror was like straight after my bedroom, it's a passage. And so, okay. so it's a passage, and then this uh by your left hand side, it's my parents' bedroom. Bruh. When I got to the lounge, like everything was already out. The TV, Joe, and whatsoever, you know. So to cut the story short, so this is one of those things. Like those niggas took those stuff, so I'm out there chilling. Bro. So now I'm waiting for them to finish. And Joe, whatsoever. and so I was Nah, you know, you know, you know. If like people don't wake up, you know what's Yo. running those burning stuff. And yeah, 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 it Link, it was in, in, yeah. One swap. Hey Joe, so now at some point, bro, I was thinking how even my parents like were no more. Because obviously my my mom's is a light sleep. Hey Joe, now only like I'm feel to like we can't get a coma and throw long Okay. Yeah, but my mom was gone to sleep that day. Was gone to sleep. So I get to what I go come ring your gajo is like, hey Joe, are these people even still alive, bro? You know? Mm, mm, but in mm. my mind and whatsoever. You know, okay, fast forward then. They took the stuff and whatsoever. But I even helped those bros. Yo. Yeah, even helped those bros. So it was a thing of where the man who moved out Edro, you can't just plumb here. Help us. Wow, my guy. Wow, my guy. I'll yeah. Try to, no plumb little more. And then what happened, man? Bro, we were sitting in the lounge and whatsoever. So now, obviously, it's a thing of where you have a lot of stuff running in your mind. Once what? Because now it's a thing of where everything like someone can just like wake you up it's like ah yeah boy it's a dream it's a, it, man yeah it's a dream like just wake up bro those niggas bro they were so casual like casual not in a rush and whatsoever bro they were so Yo, casual, should they bro. know what they used actually. yeah but that, didn't, that stuff didn't work on you yeah because now after like i concluded like that entire thing like they burnt whatever they burnt but now i was still awake you know hmm. now i was still awake so that's why I think Hore na vile azang and stuff. Azang, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, so um, so now we're moving the stuff outside. Hmm. Moving the stuff outside, bro. They're so casual, bro. Kilo abona ju, like when people are in like a mission, like people don't sure. to waste any time. People, but our child or I, who is in two minutes in and out. Bro, those niggas were so casual. Even at some point, I was thinking Hore ejo. Those niggas were just there to take whatever they they wanted to take and like not hurt anyone. Hmm. Considering like the time, bruh. One to Wow, man. So, yeah, bruh, that whole thing, it was 2020. I even remember it was 2020, uh, got it 12 touch an hour. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I'll never forget that day, no more. So, that alone changed me a lot. Hmm. Changed me a lot, bruh. It's like, at some point, well, it was like, now I'm, I'm comfortable with speaking about yeah. this. Speaking about this and whatsoever, but then like throughout the past years, bro, you because I even like went to therapy. Yeah, I'm telling because you. it's like now you let your your your, your stuff out Yeah, without to, being helpless. Yeah, being helpless. So now also it was a thing of ways like yo, bro, this is home. This is the place where I'm supposed to feel safe. 
And what? So, yeah, yeah, man, yo, 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 yeah yo. this is where I'm supposed to feel safe and whatsoever. But then now you're asking yourself, Horiojo, if I'm not safe in my own space, where am I safe? Hmm. And what? Good where question. am I safe? <laughs> and what? So, that alone, yeah, like, it took like a huge, it made like a huge impact in the music that I write. Hmm. You know? In the music that I write, and also it also became like more even I don't want to say worse in whatsoever, but then like fast forward Sorry. 20 2022, I lost my 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 older cousin, yeah my older cousin, to some brutal like murder and whatsoever, hmm. you know. So that alone, it shaped my music. So that's why it's like now my music like the if you listen to my music like some of my music and the music that I'm working on it's like it's based on pain hmm. you know it's based okay. on yeah it's based on pain and then like the struggles you know and that also alone like it it shifted my music to a point of where okay it's like now yo chief now you see your okay now you're from the hood man so like now the music that you write and whatsoever now this is what this is what I know now that's true yeah this that's is not what I know that's true yeah and besides all that Kim Fanakas and what? Okay. Like, yeah, killing Fanakazi was like, now we're rapping about the stuff that we see, Kukas. That's true, man. That's true. That's true. You know, That's the true. stuff that we Relevant. see, Kukas. Relevance, yeah. man. Relevance. Relevant. So it was that, you know, like, it wasn't what shaped my music. I wouldn't say it was nice. Hmm. It wasn't at all. Yeah, it, it was, was not. not. It wasn't. But then the lighter side of it is like, yo, it was my kind of therapy. Hmm. It's like, that's the only way you'd hear me speaking about what's really bothering me wow man wow man that's that's yeah. that's, that's tragic bro that's, yeah. that's not good that's not good okay now our can go career highlights and challenges yeah what's your most notable achievement so far in this industry my notice achievement yes yeah i think it's uh it was the recent one when my previous yeah my previous music video yeah, when I saw my previous music video, Illegal Channel. Okay. Yeah. That alone. Yeah, I think, yeah. That mm, alone. That's yeah. proper, man. Yeah. That's proper. That's yeah. proper. That's proper. That that's music proper. video, yeah. It's Umsindo. Did Umsindo with Nacho and my... One of my favorite brothers, Mbusu. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was like, yeah, the biggest, you know, because even like, because that thing alone, like, shook everyone, including me. And what hmm. shook everyone, including me. Like that entire project. Hang hang out child who heard the project LA Tomile Juang, like from A to Z and whatsoever. Hmm. It's like yo, it was beautiful. Hmm. It was beautiful. So Proper. like seeing yeah, seeing that alone, it was that thing of where like it was also a confirmation to me. Yo, it's like now whatever that you have in mind, now it's a confirmation that you can pull it off. Hmm, that's true, man. Yeah. That's true. Because at some point, that music video, it was a concept that I wanted to do 2021. I think for the song that I did for, I think the song was Evi. Yeah. Okay. We wanted to do that same concept, like to pull the entire hood and whatsoever. Like okay. 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 And whatsoever. So, when all that happened, it was just the thing of always like, yo, yeah, yeah. Mm, proper, so man. when we saw that thing, even Kokasi, people were happy for us. Obviously, but the mouth is like, ah, it's on, it's on. But why is that? I, yeah, bro, you know. Sh- but then th- that's 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 the thing that we're living on. Like the politics that's true, will always be there. That's know, true. So speaking that about that, tell me what's the most significant challenges that you've ever faced in the industry, and how did you overcome them? Um. For me, like personally, for me. Because you know, you know, before I answer that, like okay. uh Bonajo, when you're an artist, it's like now you you don't you don't peep you don't peep things like in a in a fan view. Okay. Yeah, you peep these challenges as like an artist, you know. So hmm. sometimes Ejo, now to me it was a thing of where like I was always overlooked as that guy, that other guy. Hmm. You know, that other guy and what. Like, especially, like, from the hood that we come from, like, Ejo, Morituang things, like, people don't validate you unless Baobona or Vali Mang Mang Waku. Okay. That's in the industry. Esa. On top. Esa. So, it was that thing of, like, when trying to constantly, like, Pilaju, like, Ubatla Yiprova Go Batun. Batun, eh? Yeah. So, to me, like, what helped me the most, like, Ejo, I even tell my niggas, like, yo, 
like you know when you stop seeking for validation hmm. like stop seeking for validation that's when you win that's true man yeah that's like true. to me that's what helped me the most like now it's a thing of ways like a jewel smang manga gabu wagana are in a stage with a soul in but then it's as long as i'm able to wake up and do whatever that i want hmm. to do that's proper man that's proper yeah so it's there so it's there So yeah. now tell me dog um how do you stay relevant and and in this forever evolving hip hop landscape how do you stay relevant come music go get why is it nalbo trap or nalbo rap nalbo trill eh mona di bayan yeah di bayan yeah so to me like my own formula it's So like, what kind of music do you do bit yeah. where do you classify that under under rap street rap yeah i'm on i think my music is like uh it's street hip hop okay. you know It's like new age quieto. All right. Like my biggest song right now it's but my new age quieto people like kind of like misunderstand it because it's not okay. like drum. Sometimes it sound like a piano and what's it? Ah, okay. Okay. You know, stuff like that. So me I'm a hip hop musician. You know I'm a hip hop musician but then like my hip hop it's like it's more streets. Okay. Yeah, street yeah, and, and street hip hop. So that's really. how you stay relevant. Yeah. No, like how you stay relevant it's a thing of like implementing like what's new. Okay. You know? But then obviously we can't say nothing is new like there's nothing new under the sun. That's proper. Man. Yeah, you understand there's nothing new under the sun but then you just have to find your your niche and also like try to make it like your own way. Okay? That's what. Okay. Try to make it like your own way, you know, because like it's a thing of ways like now I can tell who like my inspiration comes from this. You understand? If my inspiration comes from this, I won't do that exactly. All right. Okay. You understand? I'm going to try and do it like my own way. Hmm. Okay, I stage yeah stage but then stage it's unique it's unique yeah, stage wow yeah, yeah. wow okay okay yeah we plan check so are we local industry and culture sharp man um what's your take on the current state of hip hop is it booming is yeah sure i got pay um yo and that and that's a serious chat yeah man yeah that's a serious chat like you These type of chats that's when you'll see who you some of the people can't even like take it down their stomach well, mm. you know so like to me aju uh, hip hop hip hop is still like hip hop will never die mm. all right hip hop will never die aju uh, like if you if you peep it like from the past few years it's like it has always been and i'm saying this like with no disrespect and whatsoever okay it, it has always been like house versus hip hop You understand? Hmm. Especially in SA. Yeah. Especially in SA. Yeah. yeah. Boom versus hip hop. You understand? Whatever genre versus hip hop. So like it's it's that thing of where like hip hop is always in the vocab. Hmm. You understand? That's true, man. Hip hop is always in the vocab. Like, but then also, what's killing hip hop? What I think, you know, this is my own opinion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is what my own my own opinion. Like hip hop, it's that thing of where like we kill our bonajo. Like niggas are always going to nig. You hmm. know, niggas are always going to nigga. It's a thing of where like I twan be the genre telling you how like it's easier to give to another Malou, person yes, man. a platform and what's okay. Where, okay. Okay. You okay. Understand hip hop rules will tell us like ah nah. I made it out of the dust. You should have your own fashion. Yo, yo. And so yo. so it's that thing. But then for me it's like hip hop is hip hop, bro. And hip hop will always be hip hop. We don't need uh we don't need radio hits to enjoy hip hop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, don't, you don't need any other thing to enjoy hip hop. You know, so hip hop will always be there whether it's like globally, local, you understand? Yeah, it's, yeah it will always be our thing. Hmm. Okay. So what, what, what how do you feel about the role of social media and exposing and discovering new talent? Yo. You know, you know nowadays, né? It's a thing of where now 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 we 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 supporting what's popular okay yeah what's popular and then like the real talent is like mm. uh, so let's say i'm popular you're not popular okay let, let's rather say debza is popular okay. stage is not popular okay okay and whatsoever you don't even have to be popular and whatsoever let's say you have the swag and whatsoever right yeah it's the thing of where okay now we're going to take debza debza is dripping and whatsoever okay yeah and whatsoever debza what trend and whatsoever But then if you look at like the talent it's like ah it's a thing of us like eh Debs is there he's looking good he's but, fine but then ah I, my guy I, you know so it's that so that's what's uh killing like the culture 
hmm. you know, the culture from my perspective. Okay. Know? Because why I'm saying this? Because sometimes it's that thing that, that I was saying earlier on, Horeo. Sometimes it's messed up to have, like, not, yeah, it's messed up to be like an artist who overthinks a lot. Because now when you're an artist, you don't view things in a fan, fan side. Okay. Okay. Understand? Now okay. you're an artist, like, how droppy this world is like, okay. Uh, People are wilding and, and whatsoever. Horio, this song is fine. Also. Meanwhile, you just listening to This producer went crazy and whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, you know. okay. So, yeah, it's stuff like that. So, back on that chat, Horio, social media, it's that thing of where, like, now. Also, it's a thing of where, like, Chief, Kilowa Bona is like, you, you idolize so many people. Okay. Like, from afar, until you get close. Hmm. Until you get close. So now, that's when you, you have to teach yourself to, to understand who you are. There's actually a lot that's happening. People people put whatever they, they want us to see. Okay, on go, social, go social media. media. Yeah, you understand? I mean, you won't post go Instagram, Hore, this is how you're struggling to get away. You're that's true, you won't. You won't. You but won't. You, you post your success. Yeah, but then, you <laughs> know, I need a I go Instagram, I go on yo, stage has this and whatsoever. That kid doesn't know what's going on. Man. The scenes. Yeah. yeah, that kid doesn't know what's hmm. going on behind the scenes, you know. So also like social media is like, yo, it has like a huge, I think it's a 50-50 vibe. You know, it has like 50 percent like positive impacts, but then negative. The other half, it's like also negative. Straight up from the truth. Get yeah. to, get to it straight from your perspective. That's yeah. that's good. That's good. I, I I like people who who are relevant, and who speak the truth. Yeah. You know, somewhere somehow social media destroys. Somewhere, somehow it builds. It builds. Okay. Yeah. Yes, man. They, they can build a stigma around you. Yeah. Social media. They can destroy who you are. Social media. Or they can. Make so please, guys, media. whatever we post on social media, let's make sure that it is very positive. Yeah. And that it is. It is. It is um, inspiring our kids. It builds yeah. their mind. It empowers them. Because now, if you're not talking about stigmatizing, about to come on, yeah. guys. Come on, guys. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yeah. So now, <laughs> Dreamstream, a place to create yourself. Record video, music, and podcasts in our full service studio. Record video, music, and podcasts in our full service studio. Dreamstream, a place to create yourself. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's your stance on issues like racism, police brutality, and social justice in the hip hop community? In the hip hop community, um, or like from my from my fair 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 take, man. Okay, it's like the racism side. I I don't think also on the on the hip hop side. You understand? Okay. From, from where I come from and whatsoever, it's like we we don't we don't really like. Focus on who you are or okay. what's your skin color and okay. whatsoever. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, well, out here, guys, in fact, you understand, you don't need to validate someone based on... No, their, man, on their skin color. Yeah, on their skin no, color. No, man, that's old. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Twitter, hmm. and yeah, we understand like the gents lifestyle. Like, yeah, I, sometimes I even call my boys like I, I'm fanak. You understand? Yeah, I man. even give them like Zulu names and whatsoever. Wow. Yeah, but Kiki and Bafari, my bitch, Abu Sbuda. Okay. 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 You know? okay. So to that, on my hip hop side, ah, I don't think it's something. You know, maybe someone has a different story to tell. Okay. And whatsoever. But, but from then, your side. Yeah. To, to me, it's like decent. Okay. No, it's decent. It's like okay. everything's like pushed with love, you know, well, okay, respect. Yeah. Okay, so and let's then, get more on personal and life growth. How do you balance your career and your personal life? Like your music um career and your personal life. How do you balance the two? I got why easy hip hop is demanding, learn. Yeah. You cannot just do the name for it. It's new, and, you know, you know, you know. and stuff like yeah, that. Man. Yo, uh to me, uh like I, I think now I'm currently in the in the good space of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the good space of it. Obviously, like the challenges are there. You know, they'll always be there. Hmm. Like that's no lie. But then also, that also contributes when you have to 
uh, take care of yourself, okay. like mentally and mm. whatsoever. So now, Kilabona, like you blooming at home and whatsoever, you have your own personal issues that you have to stress about and whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, whatsoever. yeah, and then now you have to stress about who you are. Kilabona, said we should operate this week. Yes, and now it's a, you know, deadline thing. You understand? So it's that thing of where, like right now, I'm just moving with the the pace that's there. Okay. And so I don't put like pressure on myself. Like I say, bona for you. Like I do pressure myself. I do pressure myself. But then, like Lena say, bona for you, chief. You put in your hundred percent here. You know, like the rest is up to the universe. Okay. And not to Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I get you, my guy. So talking about that, still on that. What's the most important lesson you've ever learned in this journey? Like for us. I want to get a music or get a hip hop, so I shouldn't do this, this, and this. I've learned how these guys are one, two, and three. What are those lessons, or what is that lesson? To me, <laughs> I always, I always told myself, "Hurry, yo," and I still tell, I still tell this to myself okay. like every day. It's like you have to remain the student of the game. Hmm. You can't tell, you you can't look at yourself in the mirror and we try to hurry and I master. Now. Yeah. Wow. And you have to remain the student of wow. the game. Forever learning. Yeah. Like, also, you know what I'm also grateful for? Like, Joe, you know when growing up, you don't know. Okay. okay. You just see these bros on TV and whatsoever. And then we say, ah, yeah. I want to be... Like that. Yeah, like that and whatsoever. But now, as time goes on, when you're growing up, you actually now realize, oh, yo, damn, I'm actually so grateful for the delay. Hmm. Because I've learned a lot. A lot. Ne? Yeah. Some of the stuff I'm still, some of the stuff I'm still teaching myself today. Hmm. Till today. I'm still teaching myself till today. So it's that thing of where you, you can't tell yourself, who do you know a lot. No, man. You have to remain the student of the game. Okay. And so, like everywhere you go, whatever that you do, is like as long as when you go back at home, just tell yourself, who okay, today you to kill a young. Today I learned about this. Wow, man. Yeah, we, I taught we, we myself. Learn every this. Day. Yeah, we, we learn, learn every something day. new every day. Yeah. So I'm gonna go collaborations and dream collaborations. Who's your favorite artist to collaborate with and why? Yo, I, I, I've been, I've been waiting for that question. Yeah, man. Yo. To me, and always be, I always tell people this. Uh, and to me, you won't even actually believe me. Okay. You know, it's like, as much as really, I'm in the hip hop space and whatsoever. But then my dream collab is Sun L Musician. Sun wow. L, yeah, Sun L Musician. Okay. Bro, you are love that bro. You know, because to me, it's a thing of where, like, if I want to work with you, Nagpat Rispanalu, and I want you, if I want to work with you, I know, Hore, it's a thing of where the reason why I want to work with you, you can give me what I cannot do for myself. Okay, okay. I get you. Understand? I get you. Fine. There are some couple of rappers that are my dream collabs. You know, my favorite bro is Botash Line. Okay. You know, Botato. Okay, Tato okay, Sol, okay. okay. Based on the music that I listen to, you know. But then, yeah, Sunil Musician, uh, Yolanda, I think, uh, also love Nomfundo Mo. Hmm. Yeah, Nomfundo Mo. You know, so, my dream collabs are not really like rappers. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really like rappers, but then I wouldn't mind like working with like rappers that are okay. Really, yeah, that okay. I really listen. But then yeah, those yeah, cool. yeah, So That's tell cool. us um about let's let's get to current projects and probably your future plans. Yeah. What's your latest release and what inspired your project? Uh okay. Now recently I haven't really like dropped like okay. solid music. Okay. But then I've been outside. I've been outside, we've been doing like body freestyle. Okay. And whatsoever. We've been doing like promo videos and wow. whatsoever, promoting music. Okay. Via clips and whatsoever, via events. You know. But then I'm definitely working on new music. Hmm. You know, new music. New music is coming soon. And then I'm working with my dudes. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'm so in terms of new music, what can we expect? Uh, there's a project coming. Okay. Yeah, there's a project coming. Uh I think two. I think two. One. One is my solo project, and then the second one is a joint project. Okay. Yeah, but I just don't want to say with who. Okay. Hand. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Let's get into the fun questions. So, if you could have dinner with a hip hop rapper, um, hip hop artist uh, or a rapper, who could it be and why? Hip hop legend. Yeah. Who could it be? Why? I think it would be Cass. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kespa. Yeah, I think okay. it'll be Kes. Kespa Nyovest. Yeah, Kespa Nyovest. Yeah, the Don Biliad. Don Biliad. Why? Don't why is that? that? Why is that? Kespa. Kespa. Yeah. I'm afraid to have food enough for it, man. You understand? I'm afraid to have food enough for it, man. Biliad. Biliad. Baba, Tampit. Baba. Yeah. I think it would be Kes. Yo, I think yo. Kes, besides the music, Kes is one of also my favorite brewers. Okay. You know. He's my favorite. Also, yeah. Man. He's my favorite. Represent. Yeah. Big ups, big ups, big ups in your vest. Big yeah. Ups. Like Kes. Don Piliado. Yeah. Kes is one of the brewers who showed us how to, yo, you can, can actually, it. yeah. You can make it. You understand? He's business minded. Besides the music. Ejo Kes will say about Dula, like Slimogao Fela Santa track. But then he's going to be the chat. Hmm. You understand? So I just love that about him. Like his hustle, bro. He's a hus- he's yeah, hustling, he's a, man. He's a hustler. hustle yeah. mode. Yeah, he's a hustle, hustle mode. mode. Like if you if like you don't even have to be a rapper to be inspired by Kes. Wow. You don't have to be a musician to be inspired by Kes. Hmm. I get old. Yeah. Get old one, Chuck. So tell me, what's the craziest, the most craziest thing that's ever happened to you on a gig, on tour, or yeah? What's the most craziest thing that's ever happened to you? you? Well, so tell us. Tell oh. us, man. I'm out about drink goods and my show with me. I'm out in the games with the zipper. I'm out in the yo, I'm sure. I actually have two, I actually have two stories. Okay, it's Jed. I'm fine. Yeah, I actually have two stories. So there was a time, um, one of my friends was having like, Nali Chomi Agayeng, Yagokasi, he goes by the name of King K. He's okay. Like, yeah, he's an he's a event coordinator. All right. You know, so sometimes it drew, even if you're not on the lineup, like we'd find ourselves there. Okay. You know, to support. There's no perform, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and whatsoever. Laying in. So, and this was shortly after I dropped the music video I'm seeing. Okay. You understand? So now what happened, I think it was around, uh, yeah, I think it was around May, but not this year. Around May. So now the music video drops and whatsoever. So now, like, by the time when the music video dropped, like, everything was, like, busy understand like the the internet was moving and what so obviously not globally but then our people knew oh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah our yeah, people yeah. knew okay like, hey, stage we see you and whatsoever okay you understand that same weekend um uh, king had uh, yeah me i think it was an all white party yeah he had an all white party and whatsoever so very much it very much it expanding on a midnight and whatsoever hmm. niggas that like in my circle, the valley uh, we get to the posy. It was somewhere around Kokas. Hmm. Get to the posy, so it's nice. Like everyone's theme, okay, aligned and whatsoever. On Twitter. So now, mind you, we get to the place, and obviously, you know, Abona just like when you go to a party and you know who you have everyone who's handling whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, okay. I'll figure okay. as like you get some sort of like bomb a special treatment here. Yeah, no. Right. You understand? I'll figure I'll go party here. Kira, Tebza is here. Yeah, man. Kira, bro, I'm here. I'll go to the VIP. But I'll go to the studio or whatever. Yeah, man. Can you VIP and whatsoever? My guy, I'll figure out. We at the door. We at the door. So, Chala Midnight, like, of course, leading like this gang people and whatsoever. Chala Midnight, who are you, chief? Now King K will be easy and whatsoever. So reploma guy and whatsoever. Ah, okay, it's like how we find a spot before we go into the VIP. Okay. Find a spot, reploma. Just like our young corner. We kill one of those young couches. Yeah, arplom yeah. yeah. arplom little yeah. much. Yeah. Like a calf, like a calf. Arplomera. And so King K comes. It's like I so I got to reploma fit to reploma go fella now. This gang women and whatsoever. Okay. Ladies. So now we're sitting across these two. I think it was two or three hands. And so, so it drops out. Kilo abona when someone is discussing you, but then you don't hear. Like, Remy really too so ne. You walk away like that. Yeah, Okay, 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 okay. Not so ever. And then Edro, when I peep, so chala midnight. Kilo in fitu. My yana baba bula ritalu na fitu. He talking about us. Okay. You know, it's like ah na boy, relax. You overthinking it. Kira okay cool. Look that way. When I look that way, well, obviously I'm trying to avoid it. Okay. Replom me, obviously, my chita feet, like, it's around like eight or nine. My chita man, well, I feel like I'm performing. I'm like, ah, stage, and what's Okay, okay. Bing, bing, sharp. And so, as I look back, these hands now are staring now. You know, they're looking at me like this okay. now. And so, okay. Chala midnight, right, chief. It's either now we're shifting or we're moving to some 
seat and what's way okay. in Abra Sarah Say in this early midnight, these two hands pull up, pull up on me. It's like, yo, uh, hi, get a hi, but are you stage? I walk Sheva midnight, get it. Nah, I'm not stage on top, okay. But yeah, are you lying? Hey, Drew. When you know, like you could tell Hori, she wanted to confirm Hori, it's you and the girl wants Hori girl and, and whatsoever. Okay. So now I'm denying, of, of course, being silly and whatsoever. Yeah, man. Ah, nah, I'm not stage with a young smile. Eju, when you know, I'm tough on Swar. Isn't this you? She's on my Instagram. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's on my Instagram. It's like, ah, nah, can we plumb with you? And whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, you understand. So, of course, Linda, Ju, didn't you, it's still new. And whatsoever. And wow, the, man. Yeah, there was a time of where music video if it's out drop. So it was the fame, yeah. And I talk a lot. Yeah, so, bro, and this thing is new to me. Not in fun of us. I just, I know. Not in fun of us. So sometimes it's like, get to one year. And I just, like, those hands, even like, they ask for a picture and whatsoever. Like, hey, guys, okay. Snap, eh, los it's But then let's take the picture. Fair, yeah, fair. more party, more second. Fair. You know, so that alone, one to And like, there was a couple of people around who were seeing her. Okay, why this brood is getting like some sort of special attention? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was there, you know. But then to me, other than that, it wasn't a thing of where like I hated it and whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to see people who they appreciate. They acknowledge people. what you yeah, do actually. You understand? Also. So it was a thing of even Litty was telling me, it's like, hey boy, you have to adjust yourself to knowing that people actually of who you are and what you're about. Nah. You understand who you are and what you're about. Because now nah, I'm I'm just a bro of way like if you span like what I'm doing like span ki span on Twitter. Yeah. It's like this is another thing that I was telling Majida Horejo. Don't take this thing and put it in your mind. Hore, okay, people I see you doing moves on the internet and then we ah, so in So you can be a brand but then just remember you are a person also. That's true. And that's true, Chuck. That's true. Yeah, so it was there, you know, but it was nice, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 just didn't know how to respond to, to it. adjust, yeah, yeah, so, yeah man. Like so if words. you could, if, if you could, my guy, switch rappers um, with, with, with a rapper, with another rapper, switch bodies, I mean, with another rapper, who could it be for one day? And why? <laughs> one day. Yo. <laughs> I was, you know, you know, you have to be now. I was going to say, I don't want to be anyone, but then I remember you said, let's get to the fun questions. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. get to the fun questions. I'd be Reese. Okay. Yeah. I'd hey, be Reese. Yeah. I'd Why? I love Reese, bro. I love Reese. You know, you know, you know, Reese, Joe, Reese, Kiraiman, Hore, Ejo. Like, he's always in people's minds. Hmm. And what? Reese, what's way? Like, hey, Reese could type something, yeah, and I, then, like, the whole internet will shake. Hmm. You understand? You remember when that time, there was a time where he wrote on Twitter, I think it was like, yo, I'm the best rapper in Africa. And okay. Yo, bomb rapper, but what's the move? But yeah, and whatsoever. And then next day, he was just like, nah, I'm joking. You understand? Okay. Already niggas took that personal and whatsoever. Wow, but, man. Wow. You know, yeah, I'd be Reese. Just yeah, like shortly because of like the influence and whatsoever. Okay, Reece, that like, he has. That yeah, he has. Reese has the has. influence. Okay, my guy. Thank you very much for coming to our Tech Techs. If you could tell our viewers, uh, Obafair, your email, phone number, not phone number, your social <laughs> media handles. Yeah. Please, man. Where can we get your music? Where can we find you, man? Yeah. On Instagram, I'm underscore stage underscore two. Uh, Twitter slash X. I'm on stage two underscore SA. Stage two. Uh, I'm also on TikTok, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm also on TikTok, okay. stage two underscore RSA. I did that for the business. My broker told me, he's like, oh, you have to tap in on TikTok. Nah. You know, because I'm also not the internet bro. Guy, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not tunneling. You know. Okay, I'm... guys, that was stage two on Raw Tech Text. Please tune in on our next episode. Thank you very much. Easy. Out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes man. Sir. Yes, sir.